do any more. I got a new block 10. <sighs> no. We need block 8. A last stand. Ah, so much reading in this game. Jesus. I wouldn't care if I wasn't recording. This game would be a lot longer, probably. There we go. Well, let's see what she has to say. I'll, uh, I'll get to that, but for now, please just look at everything else first. Okay, little girl, little lady, little hate. Well, like, hey, tollful lady. If you know what I'm saying. Her temperament has improved immensely now. She's quiet. Advice for coping with the marriage. Now the girl actually listens politely. Expressed in a 319. Oh, shit, shit. So, uh, me saying shit, shit, shit there was me remembering that I had a pizza in the oven that is now completely burnt, and I could probably kill a man by hitting him on the head with it. Uh, so now I'm incredibly in depressed. So now the game might actually give me some feels. Let's see what she has to say. Of her own free will. I can't believe she actually said that. It's wrong. It's completely wrong. I can't believe she could possibly thought that. I. Just unbelievable. So wait, is that it? Oh, she has something to say. You've you've read almost everything now. I know you've had faith in me, and I promise, I promise, it hadn't been misplaced. Just one more thing. I don't think you'll be surprised. You seem smart. I'm sure. I'm sure you've already guessed what it is. Still, go ahead. Ask it. Ask me the obvious question. What's the question? Why did he kill everyone? Mute's question? Oh man. I'm gonna make a third one just for that. Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, Mute's question. Why did he kill everyone? Here, you want to know what could make me look at my father's face and be filled with so much hatred? You want to know how I could possibly think the whole family deserved to die? If you hadn't already guessed, here, here's my last diary entry. Just, I can't, I can't say it myself. I can't bring myself to, even now. Please, just read it. I hate that face that she gives me as soon as she, like, she fucking leaves. She's like, oh, you made me sad. Why'd you do that? Block 7 or block 10? Probably block 7. I'm guessing block seven. <laughs> Everything went wrong. Wrong. Oh, I get it. Just gonna win my adopted parents. Well, I didn't. I lost. Making my stand, I wrote, just hours before it happened. Yeah, right. When I got called into the kitchen, they were both there. On one of the stoves burned, there was a knife. I thought it was a bit odd, but I didn't care. Father stared at me and said, The fighting needs to end now. He was so sure of himself. Of course he was. He had every reason to be. But I stubbornly stood my ground. I said, no. I do not want to hurt you. He lied. Just promised to make it less argumentative. This can end peacefully. But I had to fight back. I just had to say no. I just had to remind him I wasn't joking. I really will tell the Emperor that you hurt me. And that you plotted against him. No, he said. You won't. He motioned at my mother and said, bring her over. She grabbed me. She tried to dig her feet in. I, and I tried to dig my feet in, but it didn't work. Then father pinned me against the wall with his whole body and I kicked and screamed, desperately trying to get free, but it was no use. He was big, and I was small, and sick, and weak, and frail. And he grabbed the knife from the stove, and I shrieked in horror. No, I screamed at him, don't. But my mother grabbed my mouth and held it open. I tried to keep screaming, but I was powerless and terrified. When he raised the knife towards me, I thought he was going to kill me, but it was worse. Next thing I knew, I could taste disgusting flesh. As he stuck his fingers in my mouth and pulled, I'm sorry. 
Mother said. Then briefly I could taste the steel. Then nothing but blood. All I could taste was so much blood. Nothing but blood. Finally, they both let go of me. I collapsed into the floor. Why, I wanted to say. But I couldn't. I blacked out from the pain after that. But before I could, I could swear I heard again. You would never, ever argue with any man again. He was right, of course. Whoa! -ho -ho! This is Fields! That's why I gave up. That's why I wanted to kill them all so much. That's... Sorry, it's really hard to talk about. It's just, I... I try. I'm sorry. I told you it'd make sense, right? That there was a good reason? Please tell me. You don't think I've let you down. You haven't let me down. I haven't? You don't... You mean you understand, right? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I... That means so much to me. I'm so glad. I don't know what I'd do if you hadn't think... Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just... I was terrified. So terrified. I thought you might not. I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wait. What? Is there any option? Right, uh, I have it. I... Uh, I... Really strong feeling about... It's not like I've been pouring my heart out to you because I like you or anything. I really think you're a good person and I feel... I consider you to be a really good listener and a great... Ah, jeez, I'm in love with you! Whoa. I... I finally said it. This is so embarrassing. I know, it's that... I'm being really silly right now, right? I mean, jeez, I'm sure... What you're thinking, right? You must think it's ridiculous. Not at all! You... You don't? Oh, that's why... That's why I'm in love, because you manage to happily surprise me every time. I never... Never thought I'd find someone who understands me, someone who listens, who would hear my whole life story and doesn't hate me. You really have been wonderful. I know, I know, it's a lot to spring on someone just like that. And I don't even know if you're even a man or the sort of woman who wouldn't have a problem with that and still unmarried. But if you are, do you think we might have a chance together? Even just a chance? <laughs> oh man, what do I say? Yes, of course. This truly the most amazing thing I've heard in my life. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've been sort of thinking about this for a while. Um, <laughs> a little bit embarrassing, I know, but, uh, well, I, we don't have to rush to get married or anything. I mean, you know how scary it was the last time I was a wife. I'd just really like to, uh, to be with you as an equal. Does that sound right to you? Of course. <sighs> Wonderful. Oh, I, I do. I, I, I really do love you. It's funny, isn't it? I know almost nothing about you. I have no idea what you look like. I have no idea how you talk. I have no idea of what's supposed to be the most important thing about a person, if you're a man or a woman. I have no idea how old you are, although I suppose you'd be much l younger, or maybe older, depending on how you look at it. Nor do I have any idea where you're from, or even your name. But I know that you take me seriously, that you understand me, that you don't treat me as someone less just for being a woman. I know that talking to you makes me feel better than I've ever felt in my life. And that's good enough for me. That's far better than I've ever had. Ah, so, uh... Very well, I'll decompile myself now that... That, that way you can just drop to the terminal, just type download, copy everything to your ship, including myself. Should only take a few days to do a complete transfer. I'll see you soon, alright? Ah, so this is how my sister-in-law felt on her wedding night. All I have to do? <sighs> yes, uh. I guess I just. Wait, quit? Yeah, there's no AI, so just download. I guess we're done with the game. Yes. Alright! So now we're just gonna sit here for a long time. Haven't seen Pacific Rim yet, so, uh, alright, well, that happened. Oh. He even wrote Man John Yobi in the right. <laughs> huh. That was a pretty good game. 
I, I, I played a digital love story, and that was like really like, ugh, man, it's supposed to hit you in the heart where it hurt, but this one really managed to actually do so. Good work on recovering the Mongohua files. I just spoke to the sponsor's representative on audio. He sounded really pleased with what you delivered. I've credited your account with a standard payment. Listen, I've got another job lined up for you. It's on Earth, but it sounds to me like after the last job, you could use a change of pace. There's a man whose wife has... All right. Man whose wife has... Huh. Well, that... I think the ending I got was, like, the best one you could possibly get. I know there's, like, a harem ending where you get Mute and Hyung A. So, uh... Might actually try to get that one. Well, we're done with the game, actually. I don't think I'm gonna go for any other endings. I already got, like, ending one and three, because I was complete shit. Bonus content? <sighs> Korean Fusion, My Waifu, Deep Space Detective? Wait, I get Deep Space Detective? Let's just look at that real quick. Okay. Not real quick, actually. Oh, uh, could it go to... Okay. Dang it. <sighs> I'm just gonna look up a, uh... Thing on how to get these endings. I know I saved... After... I should've, really. Like, this is what I got, uh... <laughs> make a terrible mistake during the reactor sequence. Yeah, I'm kind of an idiot, and I did that. Sort of downloading the files during the reactor, and it took three days. I only had 20 minutes. Uh, to Sun Did I. Funny. Crossdresser. Finish Mute's route as both a man and a woman. I accidentally did this one. Don't know how. Completed the mission. Korean fusion. My waifu. First person she's seen in centuries. It must be true love. Fuck you. Former bride and falls in love for the first time. Investigator leaves alone. That was the shitty one. Historical notes. Yeah, don't care about that. I hate story 